All right, welcome to Pennsylvania once again. And I'm not alone. There he is. John's with me today. Sorry, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> no, but, uh, no, but uh, uh, I was actually on my way to this location, and then he called. He took off work today, so um, turn around. Why did she have to turn around? Just kind of looped around, picked him up. He's gonna come along with us today. Make it sound as bad as possible. Yeah, it was it was awful. I had to think a whole lot about it. Yeah. Whether I wanted to you make a sacrifice. Yeah, you know, I had to like drive like you know what two miles out of my way or something. It was it was awful. awful. But, uh, but we're gonna head up to the Boxcar Rocks up here in northern Lebanon County, and I, I've been here a number of times actually with John several times. But uh, I was looking for a place to go today. I have some mail I want to share, and I want to try and send a drone up too along these rocks. It's a really cool rock formation up here. It's pretty awesome. Sometimes it's called the Chinese Wall. But uh, we're gonna head on up there. It's only like a 10 minute walk up there, I think. So we're gonna head on up there. It actually feels pretty good out here today. John can attest to the fact that it's been just blazing hot lately. Um, but actually up here in the mountains, it feels really good. So anyway, I'm gonna quit blabbing. We'll go, we'll go hiking. Maybe, huh? <laughs> All right, well, we have arrived. Up there through the trees is the start of it. Well, actually, it does continue that way too, but um, at some point I'll set you down and give you some perspective as the two of us walk up to it, but we'll probably make our way up there first. And unfortunately, I am seeing quite a bit of spray paint up there. There always is spray paint up there, but I was just talking with John because back with this whole shutdown thing, there's been a lot more people up here. And of, and of course, course they can't just enjoy yeah, nature. They gotta bring their uh they gotta leave their mark on it and destroy it. Bring their what they call their rattle cans along. So I'm seeing quite a bit more than I don't know when last time I've been here is. Might have been a year ago, but so you will see some graffiti up here. That's just we can't do nothing about that. <laughs> so alright. Get get John in there. Alright, well we're gonna head up there. Like I said, I'll at some point I'll set the camera down and you can see just how massive these things are. So just try and enjoy uh the beauty of the formations and as best you can without worrying too much about the graffiti. So right up there are the rock formations, but John is making his way up there. I'm actually up on this little hill here. Actually, was coming up here, took a slip, went back down the hill, but uh, he's gonna make his way up there. So you'll be able to get a, an idea of how big these formations are. There he is. So yeah, they are pretty massive. And that one he's walking up to is often called the whale head, because it looks like a whale's head. All right, let's head up there ourselves. <laughs> I'm just making my way up. I'll turn you around in a moment so you can see close up. Hey, but there's the whale head. It almost looks like a whale. Like you see a little mouth right there. If you have an imagination. So remarkably, there isn't as much graffiti as we thought there would be. It's just this one section, but amazingly, they've left the majority of this alone. Now these rocks continue on for several miles down that way. We're on the, was this, I think it's a Sharp Mountain, the top of Sharp Mountain. You can follow it for several miles. Now not all this high, they kind of go up and down. And they also uh, continue back down that way too, towards Goldmine Road. So in a little bit, I'm gonna try and find my way to the top. I know there's a place further back that you can more safely get to the top. I already fell once today, another pile, so I don't wanna fall off these things but a lot of people do climb around these just gotta be careful because um, anyway they're pretty high I know some people come out of state to rock climb on these rock climb here because on the other side of this one they even have like those little uh, clips in place for the climbers to hook their ropes onto but once they get up top like I said I'm gonna share some mail and then at least try to get the drone up see if I can get some footage of these rocks from the air see how well that works out the edge here up there is the, uh, I call it the love triangle. People go up and sit in there and get their picture taken. It's kind of like a little, actually maybe we'll go up there. It's kind of like a little, I guess we can get up there. 
It's actually a lot steeper down the other side. Oh, I can squeeze through these rocks here. Yeah. Let me turn you off for a moment. There's John <laughs> making his way up. It's not that easy coming up here. I guess if you're a youngin, yeah. but we ain't so young anymore. Well, we're not ancient either, but yeah, and you can walk through actually, but on the other side, it's quite a bit further down, drop, which I don't want to get too close to. Look at my fear of heights, but so we'll just back away from there. I can see John standing there to get a size comparison. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it drops down back there, doesn't it? <laughs> Not a fan of heights on No, it's kind of, yeah, it really goes down. That's why I gave up roofing. <laughs> we'll just continue a little way up this way. I'm not going to get up to the top this way, though. There's an easier way up further over, I think. But it's pretty cool. That's why I want to try to get to get to the do the drone stuff, but we'll see. See where John is. <laughs> John's gonna climb up this way though. No. <laughs> I've done the best I can. Alright, so John's over there making his way down, but I'm gonna get you set up on the tripod here and I'm gonna quick share some mail with you in the shadow of these rocks. That's pretty cool. All right, so John is safely down. He's back there behind the tripod. Uh, or maybe. Oh. <laughs> yeah, if he, I'm not carrying him out of here. <laughs> we were talking about that earlier, if one of these big rocks fell, how that would be quite a mess. But anyway, I'm not going to tell you what we said. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but the first, first thing is from Sandra from Texas. And she did send... One of these postcards, Texas postcards, and of course she sent me a letter too, and a little, one of these little metal boots made in Texas. So this will go through the other stuff. I'm actually packing up a lot of the stuff I have for decorations because, like I said earlier videos, I am looking at moving sometime soon. So I've kind of started the process of packing some things up with some help from John actually too, again, because he just moved. Was it like a month ago? May 1st. May 1st. So he had a bunch of extra boxes. I've been using his boxes to pack as well. All right, next card is from, well, this is from Mary. She sent, a, she sent quite an appropriate card. Coffee first. Oh, step one. <laughs> step one, coffee. So, gotta have the coffee in the morning, right? Right? Coffee every morning? Uh, yeah. No, he, he doesn't drink coffee. Nope. So. But thanks for the kind words and, and the financial gift as well. She mentions uh, about buying a, a new tent and air mattress. And I actually did buy a bigger tent and I got an air mattress too already. So you'll see that in a future video. I am hoping to get down to West Virginia on my next like big road trip. And of course, from Glenn, thanks as always, Glenn, for your gift, financial gift. It's always appreciated. And the last one is from... Uh, from Millie, and she sent some interest, something interesting. Here's the card she sent, so thank you for that, and the gift as well. But she also sent some pictures that she has. I think these are from the inside of. Um, I went to that, that Eckley Coal Miners Village some time ago, and I was, I was looking in the windows and wondering what it looked like in there. But she has some pictures of what it looks like in those buildings. So that's pretty cool. Old timey stoves. That's what I want. Old time furniture. Where's that? The one with the stove I like. That's my favorite one right there. Yeah, John likes that stuff too. So, yeah, I would love to have, because like, I'm looking for a place. I'd love to have a place. Well, I do have a wood stove that's been sitting on my porch for the last six years, but I would like to be able to use that again. Thank you for the cards and letters. Actually, another package came in today, but um, I'll share that an another time. So, 
All right, so we're gonna walk along the edge a little bit more. I'm gonna try and find a place to get up top. It's a little bit uh, easier. There's a cool rock hanging over up there. Yeah, as you can tell, these just go on and on. Like I said earlier, it just goes on for several miles. And these are natural formations. And I always get people to say that some giants built these, but they are natural. Okay, I think we can get up over here. Starts to lower down a little bit. There's quite a few places you can get up, but I want to get up uh, safely without breaking my neck. Yeah, here's a place I can get up this way. I see John making his way up there. Hey. I think I can try and get up here yet. Maybe. We'll see. I get to a point where I can fly the drone up easily enough. And here we are kind of on top. You can get some views out there. Of course I'm not up at the tippy top. I think I'm gonna, at this point I'm gonna try and send the drone up. get some footage here without losing it. All right, well, we're heading back now. Hopefully that drone footage turned out all right. Uh, it's definitely hot up on those rocks. But yeah, I had my first real scare with the drone there, though I actually crashed it up there today. Um, nothing serious, but there's there's trees up there on the rocks. So I sent it up and then uh, 
I was actually trying to get it away from the one tree, but then you kind of panic and I go, when the drone's facing you, everything's like backwards controls wise. And I, I sent it the wrong way right into the tree. So it almost fell on John, but it's okay. It didn't fall from that high up, maybe about just a little bit higher than my head. So it started back up again and I sent it up. So hopefully we got some cool footage. We'll see about that. I do want to mention too, a number of people keep mentioning the fact that you can see the propellers in my drone footage. And that's the way it is. You know, this, the camera on that drone is fixed. It doesn't tilt up and down. So there is no um, getting the propellers out of the picture. It doesn't really bother me, um, but I guess some people are just trying to be helpful, but that's, that's the deal with the drone there. There's John making his way down. One last look to Whalehead. Away from the tree there. Got a few other people up there now too. All right. Yeah, so that is an awesome place. And in other videos I've explored it a whole lot more, but it is just, down here in the woods, it's not so bad temperature wise, but when I was flying a drone up on the top of the rocks where it's like baking in the sun, it's like, wow, it was hot up there, so. But great place to come and explore. Um, and John is still alive. Oh yeah, I, that's where I fell earlier when on. I didn't get it on film though. I was trying to. I wanted to set the camera. Up. No, I didn't set the camera up. I wanted to, when I was filming John first going up to the rocks. I caught him. <laughs> you know, he did. He was up way up there. I caught him in my arms and kept him from falling. Yeah, I right. Some boo boos. But I almost killed him up there with the drone though. But he. Uh, it, it landed close to you, didn't it? Not, Not really. it, it was it wasn't as close as it looked, but it kept yeah. on hitting the branches. Yeah, but above kept them. on like nailing me. And so I was it like, was like this thing coming right at me. Because I tried to, like I said, I tried to get away from that one tree, but then, like I said, the camera since the drone was facing me, all the controls were opposite, and I, you know, I wanted to go that way, but I, yeah, it went it went right into the tree then. It's right into you. Yeah. Oh yeah, it hit my elbow on the way down, kind of bleeding a little bit there, the propellers, but no big deal. So it makes for fun memories. All right. Clip into a man. Yeah. So I, actually, both my elbows are bleeding now. The one's bleeding from falling, and the other one from the the uh, drone attack. But anyway, we'll say goodbye to you here. Just a quick little video. Looking for something to do today. Didn't realize I was going to have this guy with. The man. But I won't turn that down. We're going to go now and uh, go out to eat one of our favorite places, Buddy's Log Cabin. One of the best places in the world. <laughs> All right. We'll see you then. Thanks for coming along.